life moves fast. One day you're playing kick the can with kids named Flick and Schwartz. I triple dog dare you! And the next thing you know, you're a certified adult. Ralphie! Ralph, dear old man. Fragile. He was the best. Ralphie, promise me we're gonna make this a wonderful Christmas. That would make your father so happy. I promise. What had I done? And that was all up to me? I suggest you start drinking and don't stop till New Year's. Hey kids, who wants to go see Santa? This is amazing, incredible. We will meet you right here when you're done. Don't let him kick you in the face. Huh? It's the half happy scene. Now, um, now it, when it's just us decorating, it kind of feels like child labor. Honey, it's not labor if we don't pay you. Yeah. Cheers. There'll be much mistletoe. My dad made this all look so easy. Mm. That doesn't mean it was easy. Most wonderful time of the year. Schwartz, I triple dog dare you. Mm. Oh, I got it now. Get out of there! That's brutal. It's the most wonderful time. Slowly I could feel the Christmas ember beginning to glow again. <laughs> you ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the reindeer do most of the work. <laughs> this is my full fear of the center. How about you? I started the whole damn thing. Ho, ho, ho! It's Christmas! We decided that you could have one gift. Early. What is it? That is a direct hotline to Santa Claus himself. I can talk to Santa? All right, revelers. Welcome to your worst Christmas ever. Let's go! You have $300 million in your personal vault. That's what I want for Christmas. <laughs> I don't want any trouble, okay? Something's gonna scooch up that chimney. Who is she? Cause it's not your typical mall Santa. Santa, are you there? Daddy said you were very busy tonight. My name is Trudy Lightstone. Are you gonna help us, Santa? Yeah, Trudy. Santa? No, my nice list. Santa Claus is coming to town. Time for some season's beatings. <laughs> Who the hell are you? But what if he really is the There's real? No such thing as Santa. Yeah! These bad men, they're all my naughty list. Naughty. That's naughty! And what do you do to the naughty ones? I give them a lump of coal. Where is it? I gotta watch. Ah! I believe in you, Santa. Come on. Which one of you did that? Prancer? <laughs> so unprofessional. Cold Christmas Eve. One dark soul is selected for redemption by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and yet to come. A tradition that continues to this very night. Like a Christmas carol? Yes, yes. If you would just let me get this out, sit. So out of all the people on the planet, murderers, people who do gender reveal parties, I'm the guy you're gonna haunt. You know what? Forget it. <laughs> I told you, the guy is a level 20 bang in the dickens. Come on, I can take this guy. I'm your ghost of Christmas present. 
la 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 la. I'm not watching your dramatic re encrapment Hey, I'm haunting you. You can't just run away from me when I'm haunting you. Hello? I believe he can be a positive force for mankind. And he's got his hands all over everything. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Maude, are you texting HR? No. People don't see. We got a runner! That's just fun to watch. I'm here to change him to being a more positive force for humanity. <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> yeah. Do you Photoshop yourself into these pictures of my executive VP? I don't think so. Oh, you want that. What I want is for you to shut up and let me do my job. Is there a ghost of Christmas, Grumpy? Because you could do that job. <laughs> This is where real change begins. Oh, oh that's, oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, that... No, no, he's fine. He's good. Well, he's, well, well not a squirrely. Squirrely. anyway. Middle child, two brothers. We're actually very close, but they live in different states. Only child. Childhood obsessions. Christmas magic. I want you to hold me. Come My name is Michael. You're a great dancer. You're a terrible liar. And that's Kid. Baby. I've always imagined that my life was like a typical romantic comedy. You were so confident. I mean, you just sweeped off your clothes like you're a stripper at a bachelorette party. And I basically shower with clothes on. <laughs> I'll just shut up now. Shall we go to your place tonight? Here's my door. Before we go in, just open the door. Okay. What is this, Michael? Oh, you don't want to... Oh, my God, they're in here, too. Oh, Papa. You turn my sixes to nine. I think you're very cool, and I'm worried that you're going to break my heart. Mom and Dad, this is my friend, Mike. A friend? Yes, Mom, just a friend. What is going on here? Who is this guy? He's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? I think it's a great kid. We may not look like it, but we are actually kind of hip. Oh my god. We were gonna go to Woodstock, you know. Well, I am. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this beauty. All I wanna be kid, what is going on? Are you alright? Calm down off the ledge, Mike. I'm seeing a doctor tomorrow. I'm afraid the news isn't good. Forever and forever if we're not together. I was always afraid Kit would break my heart, and eventually he did. He broke it open. I've only got to run the race in front of you because that's all there is. Looking back, this is less of a rom-com and more of a love story. He can't sit for four hours. We promised bed. All the beds are occupied. Get my husband to bed! Well, that was Oscar worthy. Work for Shirley MacLaine. I'm sorry I never told you how good your ass looks in your khaki pants. <laughs> I was afraid if you understood how beautiful you are that you'd leave me. Thank you for inviting us. It was Kit's idea. I was vehemently opposed to it. And like all love stories, it never actually ends. I just saw on the calendar that right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. We don't have time for trivialities like Christmas. But Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. We go to Earth for a really wonderful Christmas gift. It would make him happy. Something special he will never forget. What about someone special? We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that, Drax. If your voice is small and mousy, I think maybe he didn't hear you. Ah! You're coming with us as a Christmas present. I'm Gru. Quiet on set. Let's make some Christmas magic. Mark. Action! Hi there, welcome to Chloe's Cakes. What can I get you fellas? I'm looking for the owner, Miss Chloe Donner. That is me. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Cut! Hi, I'm Christopher. The network wants me to find out if Christmas movies are worthwhile. I'm going to be on set for all of production. That's not necessary. If I had some ideas about the script, do I talk to you about those, or...? He's your antagonist. What are you talking about? This whole thing is a Christmas movie. We need to follow the formula. Big city boy meets small town girl. They have conflict. Christmas magic is like snow in LA. There's no such thing. <laughs> Boom. Do you want to join me for dinner? I would love to get to know you in this movie stuff better. Classic romantic Christmas story. <laughs> that is a stretch. So, why'd you pick Christmas movies? We always spent Christmas at my grandma Pearl's. She and I would binge watch Christmas movies together. Watching people fall in love at Christmas time. That's the feeling that I always wanted to create with my movies. Let it glow, baby. Let it glow. Can I give you a lift? What have you done? I'm embracing the Christmas movie. We have a problem. I turned around. It's has gone! Okay, well, she can't get off the lot. Wait, you think she got off the lot? No, 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 no. <laughs> Zoe! Zoe, come to me! Making movies is exciting. We're shutting down the whole Christmas movie division. What? This is this the plan all along? Just pretend you care and then pull the rug out from under us? I do care. I want to be the guy who helps create this warm, comforting, safe place that the world gets to live in at Christmas time. I want to believe him, but I don't know anymore. Logic doesn't save Christmas. Love saves Christmas. Can I trade you in for a talking dog? Not according to my contract. <laughs> I got her. She's fine. She's absolutely fine. She is fine. <laughs> we are going to have the most peaceful Christmas this year. Who is this? We need to call an emergency sisters meeting. What has the Christmas family done now? It's Dad. He's disappeared. Dad has made several payments from a hotel in Nevis in the Caribbean. I've booked tickets for the three of us. We're going to the Caribbean this afternoon. What? You might want to start packing. Flight leaves at four. Don't tell my heart, my head is breaking hard. I just don't think it understands. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my brother, Mr. James Charisma. Look at him over there. Can't a man disappear without being hunted down by his nosy daughters? I. I'm here to rescue you, Daddy. I want you to go back to your families. Aren't you just a little bit happy to see us, Dad? I am staying here. I think Dad is having a massive emotional reaction. Well, 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 James. Aren't you full of surprises? Another wonderful day. The three of us have to do everything we possibly can, and we have to convince him to come back to England with us. You three look like you're up to no good. No! What are these? Called a killer bee. Now be careful, they're dangerous and addictive. Uh, we're gonna need some more killer bees. Joanna! Oh. Morning! I hate you. Family need to stick together. Agreed? Agreed. 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 I feel a lot of change coming on, James. Dad wants to have fun, he should have fun. Who are you and what have you done with Joanna? Would you mind repeating that, please? Hey! It's like paradise. This very moment, I am on a Caribbean island with three of my magnificent four daughters, and I couldn't be happier. I have a delivery for you. Oh. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Amy, are you Santa? <laughs> it's from my hometown, Snowy Oak. What? James Hunt, why did you cancel the Christmas party? Come on, it's the most magical Christmas celebration. We could get a tree or some carol singers. There's no money, Amy. Lots changed. Why didn't anyone tell me? And risk you abandoning your career to come here? Your mother would never forgive me. We're asset rich, but we're income poor. 
Things might change, but this will always be home. I know I hurt you when I left. The ranch has lost a little of her magic. Christmas is a week away, so that gives us enough time for the choir to rehearse and for us to light up the house and get a tree. Yes! I haven't seen Junebug this happy in a long time. What happened between you and Jennifer's mom? Just couldn't make it work. How do you do that? You make everything an enchanted experience. She always did have that effect on you. I can hear the sleigh bells ring. See you around, Charlie. What do you think? <laughs> it looks like Christmas! <laughs> it's nice to see a family in the house again. I used to be so happy here. She still loves you, James. Don't tell me you haven't told her how you feel. It's complicated. Don't let the one get away. And only you can decide what to do. You are literally in the DNA of this place. <laughs> Magic happens at Christmas, and here you are. You don't have to leave Snowy out. My heart has never belonged to anyone but you. This year marks the 100th anniversary of our town finding the bells. How can those be Santa's bells when there's no such thing as Santa? Of course there's really a Santa, right, Mr. Martin? There will always be non-believers, but don't let them rob you of your Christmas spirit. Somebody stole the bells. Mayor! Yes, ma'am. Are you going to cancel the ringing of the bell celebration? Absolutely not! The great town of Pleasant Bay represents the joy and spirit of Christmas. Sheriff, sure. found this in the garage. George Bottoms. Wait a minute, You're guys. Under arrest. My dad didn't do this, Violet. You're the smartest person I know. You have to help us. Means, motive, opportunity. This is what my dad does at work. It's how he decides on possible suspects. We have to find another person who has all three of these things. You don't seriously think you can solve this case, do you? Why not? For starters, you still sleep with a stuffed animal. These are our suspects. Maybe I should make this girl the new sheriff. Are you gonna need detective stuff? I think I found some proof. I think we're done with this. If there's anything we can do to help Mr. Bottoms, shouldn't we at least try? Look, better see them. This is getting good. No one is going to rest until the bells are back where they belong. Dad, I have a Christmas wish. What is it? I want Mr. Bottoms to be home with Kenny for Christmas. We have to find out where it goes. I don't think that's a great idea. Man up, Kenny. That's sexist. It was the night before Christmas. Perfect time for a story, I think. In the near future, it's illegal to take drugs or drink. Except for one night. The binge, as it's known where it's perfectly legal to get drunk, high, or stoned. But this year, they did what you wouldn't believe. They moved the binge to Christmas Eve. What? Why, oh, why did they have to put the binge on Christmas? I am not going to stand by because you all want to do a bunch of slam balls out of Frosty's hole. Andrew, we're not kids anymore. This binge is our chance to take our lives to the next level. You're going to fix things with your family. I'm Craig, your mom's new lover. You're banging my mom? <laughs> and I'm going to propose to Sarah. I'm going over to her dad's house to ask him for permission. You don't want to turn on the bubbles or nothing? I'd like to be able to see right through to the bottom. Too many mysteries in those bubbles. Hey, ah! come with me if you want to binge. Who are you? I'm Angel. I'm going to show you what it would be like if you were never born. This is terrifying. Jesus! This party's dead. Grandma, you have a heart condition. You should have seen the shit we were into back in the 60s. Andrew, I lost Sarah's grandma's ring and I'm high off cocaine. Damn. Can you come get me? Uncle Chris, did you break out of prison? Yeah, but it didn't matter because the binge is on and everyone's excited about Christmas again. Hey, child, what do you want? Under the tree this Christmas. Ah! Oh, yeah! The 
Avengers are coming, man. We're taking over. Tonight, all the rules are out the window. It's Christmas, officially! You spelled my name wrong. Why is that house smoking a cigarette? This is what I've been wanting to say to you the entire night. Damn, I really was high and drunk when I wrote these. Just one long rehearsal for opening iHeartRadio's Christmas Eve special. Let's be real for a sec. I was homeless, and now I'm making my debut on national TV. Thanks to you guys. You are the real deal, Gail Travers. If it doesn't happen, someone somewhere will give you the chance you deserve. So why can it be me? Hey, 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 hey. Are you okay? Are you okay? I just killed a, a llama. Oh, it's an alpaca. Oh, he's alive. And he's up. Welcome to Harmony Springs, Oklahoma. I have to report to LA by the 24th. What's so important in LA? iHeartRadio. <laughs> Fancy. How much is this going to cost? 2600 bucks. Show our new guest here some hospitality. Do you have a phone I could borrow? Has anyone in this town ever heard of a smartphone? There ain't no use for fancy around here. Clearly. I have to get a job while you fix the bus. When you're done, I'll have two grand and be on my way. So what do you got in a town like this? A middle school? You better start talking. Everyone! I'd like you to meet our new music teacher. Uh, I think you are all mistaken. The performance for the Christmas Gala is in two weeks. You prep these kids, and I'll cover the bus repairs. I have to write my very own song for iHeartRadio, and I'm having a hard time. Sometimes when things aren't working, you unplug for a bit. I haven't been this unplugged since I was eight. Tell you what, though. I like the unplug get a whole lot better. I do, too. Because oh. you <laughs> make the light shine. Place your hands over your heart. This is where you sing from. Not your head or your lungs, your heart. He's come up for air for the first time in years. And the only thing that changed is you. The world needs to hear that voice of yours. You can't do that from here. I always hoped that my singing would bring me to a home of my own. Sometimes real magic only occurs in the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, Nutcracker, when did life become so complicated? My old playthings. I wish I could be a kid again and play with you like I used to. <gasps> mama, Mama! Did you hear that? Sounds like squeaking. That's what I call a fight. Nutcracker? Marie! <laughs> hey! This used to be my home. Now it's a nest for rats. My son shall assume the throne in place of this wicked. Let us help you defeat them. You want to help me? Uh-huh. Let's go. We'll send those rats back to the sewers they came from. There was an ancient magic lute. I play it, and... and the rats will turn back? Let's go hunt down a flute. Prepare the feast. <laughs> Gather the family. Welcome home, oh, I'm your great brother. This is the strangest family reunion I've ever seen. For an enchanted holiday adventure. Miracles happen at Christmas. And Christmas Eve is tonight. Who is more worthy? Descendants of apes or rats? I won't let you down, Father. What are we supposed to do? 
matter what happens, I will never leave your side. The Nutcracker and the Magic Flute. Merry Christmas, kind sir! What? No need to stare. <laughs> yes, I know it's nice. Every kid has that one gift they want more than anything for Christmas. This is the story of mine. Bookends? And they have baseballs on them. I see that. No, not those. Nintendo. A maze of rubber wiring and electronic intelligence so advanced it was deemed not a video game, but an 8-bit entertainment system. No Nintendo in my house. I second that. Looks like a no-go on Nintendo. I needed a Christmas miracle. The year was 1987, or was it 88? Super Bowl was in 86. Okay, does it really matter, Dad? Oh, okay. The year was the late 80s. I was 11 years old. Did you wear a helmet? Yeah, we always wore helmets in the 80s. Me and my friends would do anything just to play one. Any of you huddle masters on a play? Yeah! What have you brought me? One thing became clear, I needed to get my own. This is bigger than Christmas. The this is our Vietnam. I don't think that means what you think it means. I have no idea what it means. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Sometimes during Christmas, just when you think that all hope is lost, something magical happens. Sold out in 20 minutes. Suddenly, one woman punched her grandma right in the throat. Same family, too. Are you making all this up? No, no, no way. Did you guys hear in the race selling contest? First prize is a brand new Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm gonna kill you! Hold on. There are no rules. That Nintendo's mine. What do you want? Wanna buy a wreath? Ma! This kid thinks your wreath sucks! Video games have been doing all kinds of strange things to children. What? It was the 80s. Stuff got real. Red Dog, this is Bluebird. This is Rainbow One. What happened to Red Dog? I changed it. We're allowed to change names now. This is Millennium Falcon, super cool. Woo! Love it! Rated PG. Just sit alive. Yes, I think so. Jesus, they're early. Oh. Tony and Simon robbed the petrol station. Oh, what fun. We make tremendous criminals. I felt so good. We're all getting old. Well, we were getting old. It's just one potato each. Just one for everyone. Did anyone watch the Queen's speech? Well, she's clearly in some bunker set up, you know, filled with tins of baked beans and dog food. Oh. Here's to the lives that we've shared. <laughs> to our beautiful children. Our beautiful friends. May we rest in peace. I just think we should be honest with the kids. We know the Russians want us all dead. They're sending poisonous gas to kill us all in the morning. It's not the Russians, it's the planet. It's very upset. It will kill anything and anyone that is still alive. We should have all voted green. Mm. We just want to make sure that you understand that as your parents, we are not to blame. Clearly, it's not your fault either. I've seen the road, and there is no way I am living like that. Day 
hundred of this global lockdown. New hyper strain increases in Pakistan. Another multinational collapse is dead across South America. Lockdown. Sir, remember the moving spike we spotted in the infection rate? Oops. Sorry about that. <clears throat> What have you got, kid? Well, I cross-correlated the data with worldwide IR codes, and it changes things quite significantly. It's impossible for a strain to spread that fast. Crossing borders at the speed of light, crisscrossing the globe in 24 hours. From when did you get those preposterous figures? Uh, Christmas Eve. Looks like you've got your clearance to engage. The world has moved on. Magic dust, pieces of coal. It's time for something a little more reliable. Do you have any idea what you've done? I don't know. You led them right to it. I didn't think any of this was real. Oh, it's real, and now they won't stop until it's all gone. Tom and Jerry are back in an all-new holiday movie, and with a touch of magic from Old Smiley. Uncle Jerry, you're just in time to see my newest trick. Jerry's nephew Tuffy creates his very own snow friend. Oh, I'm much more than that, kid. I'm your new bestest pal. But when the weather outside is frightful, oh, it's getting warmer, guys. Better find a way to cool down. It's up to Tuffy and Jerry to save their new friend. It's not like there's some magical place where a snow mouse like me could literally chill out year-round. Yes, there is, Larry. Snowman's land. What are we waiting for? Let's go! But getting to Snowman's land... <laughs> ...may be harder than they think. Get ready for magic. Are we ready? Music. Hey! You know what we need? Tones! Say goodbye to garbage bins and alleys behind bars. You'll be on stage in a Broadway show or dancing with Bruno Mars. And a whole lot of cat and mouse. <laughs> Get in the holiday spirit with a brand new Tom and Jerry movie. Tom and Jerry, Snowman's Land.